So in this video we're going to make some cake pops. Um, you don't need a lot of different things so I've basically got some sponge cake that's crumbled up so literally just a normal sponge cake and you're just going to crumble it up by rubbing it together in your hands until it creates breadcrumbs. Now if you've got a really crusty edge on your cake um, you don't want to put that in as you'll find it's difficult to roll them into balls if you've got the thick edge bit in. So we've just crumbled up the cake crumbs and we're just going to add some buttercream to that. Now quantity wise um, I tend to guess. Um, I just put it in until I'm happy with the texture and consistency of it but you don't want to put too much in that becomes too sickly that people will want to eat it. So we're just adding in the buttercream. We're just going to mix that in. So once it's all mixed in you're going to take some and we're going to roll it into a ball. Now oh, it's a little bit sticky, is mine. I think making it a ball shape is the most difficult bit. And when you've got it into a ball shape, we're just going to put it on here. So I've literally just got a baking sheet that's lined just so that, not lined, well it's got grease proof paper on it, just so that we can put these on here without worrying about them sticking. And you're just going to keep going. You want to try and get them all similar sizes. So I'm going to put these in the fridge now while I'm melting my colour melts. So to make the flesh colour for the heads of our cake pops, we're going to use some white colour melts. So I've just got the Renshaw's ones here, um, which are nice and easy to just stick in the microwave. So what I'm going to do is melt the white ones and then I'm just going to add sort of a small amount of pink ones to them once they're melted keep stirring them in let them melt until I'm happy with the color that it comes up with but mainly white is the main color we need for this so I've melted my color melts and I've accidentally dropped my cake pop stick into my color melts without thinking what I was doing there so we want just a small amount of our color melts on the end of our cake pop stick and we're just going to push that into our cake pop like so Okay, don't push it in too far and we're going to let that set. So I let my cake pop dry and I've taken some Renshaw's fondant and I've dyed this one the colour that I want and I'm going to start with it in a ball and then we're going to roll it into a little cone shape. Now it's way too big for the body, we want them to have a tiny little body otherwise it won't stay on the stick so I'm just going to cut the top little part of that off and I'm just pinching around the edge like so, and I'm going to insert my cake pop stick into the end and what I'm going to do is just put a small amount of water at the top of the fondant body and we're just going to push that up to the top. I'm going to give it two tiny little arms so I'm going to roll just a small amount of fondant we're going to cut it in half. Again I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of water on either side of the body to attach these to. So we'll start up near the head and bring those round. So now I'm just mixing some colour for a hair. Again, it's just the fondant we've got. You can use a bit of modelling paste with this if you prefer to thicken it up a bit. Makes it just a little bit easier to work with. And I've just put a caramel ivory colour in. Um, you don't want too much in because we want to keep it nice and light. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll this out. We don't want it too thick because we don't want too much weight to go on the top of our cake pop otherwise it'll push it down the stick. I'm going to cut a little circle out. I've got my cookie cutter and I'm just going to cut a circle out of my fondant. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the back of that and we're just going to put it onto the back of our head. So starting at the bottom of the cake pop, we're going to bring it round. Just pressing gently, you don't want to push too hard as you'll knock the cake pop off the stick. I'm 
Okay, so we've almost given her a bit of a cap at the moment. And then we'll add to that. So we want some pieces of hair now to fill in around this front bit to smarten it up. So I'm just rolling it so it's thinner at either end and a little bit thicker in the middle. And I'm just going to put a bit of water on that. I'm going to put it on the side of the head and bring it round just a little bit like that. Put one to match on the other side. And we'll put a couple of smaller ones on there with those. We're now going to put a couple of bits from the centre. So again, the same kind of shape, which is a little bit narrower at either end. We're going to start in the centre of a head going backwards. And we'll put another one at either side. So she's got a little bit more to her hair. You can add more if you want to add more. If you like it as it is, just leave it as it is. I just don't want to add too much that it makes her head too heavy. So we'll just add a couple of small ones in. She just wants a tiny bit at the front of her head. So we're just going to roll a really small bit. I'm going to stick that onto the front, move it around until you're happy with where it is. Okay. And what we want to do now is before we add a ponytail, we're just going to give her a couple of little hands. So I'm just going to mix a flesh colour that matches her face now. Okay, so I've mixed that a similar colour to the face. And I'm just going to pull off two small round balls. Then I'm just going to roll and stick at the bottom of each arm. Just try and keep them similar in size if you can. Back to the colour fondant that we've done for our hair. And we're just going to take three pieces and we're going to roll them out so that we can create a little plait. Now we're probably going to have to roll them quite slim otherwise it's going to be a massive plait. So I like mine to be a little bit thicker at one end and then come quite slim at the other end. Oops. Okay, and then you just plait them as you would with normal hair. So all three together, taking one over the centre one and then the opposite one over the centre. So you go from either side going over the centre. Now it's going to be way too big as this plait, but what I'll do is choose the bit that looks neatest to use on our little cake pop. Probably have to use a bit closer to this end where it's a little bit slimmer. Okay, so as we're getting to the end, I'm just gonna pull it together, pinch it until it comes to a point. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it against my cake pop to see what kind of length I want. So I'm gonna pull it off about here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on this bit here, I'm going to tuck it under the head like so and curve it round her body a little bit so it comes down the front like so. And now we need to give her a face. Okay, so I've got some black fondant now and I just want two round balls for the eyes. So we're going to start with a circle and we're just going to roll it so it becomes slightly oval in shape for one of our eyes. We'll do the same with the other one. Just going to flatten it down a little bit. Just check that they're similar in size. Usually I end up with one a little bit bigger than the other. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of water on the backs of them. Be careful that you don't change the shape of them when you're adding the water. And we're going to stick those onto the face.
One of mine might be a little bit bigger than the other. And we're going to paint her onto my lashes with a thin brush and a bit of black food colouring. So I've just got some black gel food colour in here. You just want a slimish paintbrush. And we're just going to put some little flakes on either side of her eye. I don't know how well you can see that. So I'll just go over that again because it wasn't very dark. And just put a couple on each eye. And then we'll just give her a little mouth, which we'll do, again we'll just paint her. We've just got a red one here. And we're just going to paint a tiny red smile. Okay. So that's it, so it's nice and simple. You don't want to put too much on with it being a cake pop, otherwise it won't hold the weight. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.